Yes, yes. Welcome, welcome to the Red Devil Talk. Um, my match reaction, obviously, for like the Villarreal versus Manchester United game tonight. Oh uh, man, it was all. It was okay. It was okay, but the football is horrendous, guys. Like, eh. Um, we're not really out of the woods yet. It's a good three points. Fair, fair game. Fair game. They got the three points, you know. Um, you know, I think getting rid of social was, was very, very, very vital. Um, I still think Carrick and McKenna need to go. Um, you know, obviously when the interim manager comes through, uh, they have to go. That's that's the bottom line. But it's 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 fair it's fair game, guys. Like I I can I can complain about the the overall performance, but I can't complain about the result. The result the result was good. And it ensures that no matter what, you know, we don't end up in the Europa League again. So, you know, at least, you know, we qualified. I mean, we, we, we are we almost on the verge of qualification. It's just that now we've got young boys left in the final game. And I can see us obviously getting a point or three points, at, you know. But, yeah, man, like, we threw. Uh, we pretty much threw. I mean, come on. But the game was... Um, Michael Carrick was... Parking the buses, it was it was a clear counter attack, uh, game and system that he wanted to play. Um, you could see that we were also pressing a little bit better, and we weren't just pressing for the sake of pressing. There was a little bit cohesive pressing that were that Carrick was actually actually instilled within the team, um, and yeah, we pressed them, which was very smart because we knew for a fact that Villarreal played from the back. I I didn't understand how we didn't press them the last. The last game we played because they were basically playing at the back they were camping at the back and tonight we actually waited for their mistakes because if you press guys like it's funny enough if you press your games i mean if you press the team that plays from the back you're more likely to make the uh them they're more likely to make mistakes it is what it is we still got the three points you know besides the performance being a little bit shameful but <clears throat> I know I'm, I'm very hard to please, but we got the three points. We threw, guys. We threw. So I don't want to hear anything. Uh, I'm not complaining. Tonight I'm not shouting. For the first time in the longest time, I'm not out here shouting. But I'm still pissed. We still got Chelsea in the weekend. And that could, that could like, twist everything up, like, inside out. And, yes, don't forget, guys, um, we also have, I also have Mama Niang coming to, through to the channel again, former Sun, Sundowns, former Morocco Swallows player. I'm also lining up Riyad Peters, uh, sun, current Sundowns goalkeeper, who's also going to join me for an interview on my show. So yeah, um, good things, good things coming on the show soon. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, Manchester United 2, Villarreal 0. We, we we just barely got through it. We scraped through it, but it's important. That's the first time we haven't considered a goal in the longest time. I can't remember the last time we kept the clean sheet. So, you know, um, yeah, man, I'm just we're just lucky that Villarreal is not very good in taking their chances. But yeah, all the best for the Chelsea game. But obviously, during the week, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be doing. Uh, uh, a show obviously um i'm gonna be inviting shows um and yeah man i'm 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 it is what it is like i'm i'm just waiting i'm just waiting on my, on my guys my guys are letting me down my guys are letting me down there's a chelsea fan i was supposed to do a show with uh he's always working and then uh, i'm still waiting for tabang Murodi. Um, i mean it is what it is but the channel is is picking up slowly I've been consistent with my content. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the Champions League games. We played, we won. At least the stress is out of the way. You guys, all of you guys, the rest of y'all have to play now. <laughs> I can get away with it now. I can relax. I can chill. Um, it is what it is. And hope you guys have a lovely evening. And this is the Red Devil Talk. I'm not excited. By the way, before you guys... Um, Get away and run away. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm on YouTube, guys. I'm on YouTube. Support a guy, man. Support a guy. All you have to do is just go on YouTube, type Red Devil Talk. Red Devil Talk. Red Devil as in in one word. 
not in uh, then they're not two words it's one word red devil and then talk is separate please go on to youtube guys and subscribe to my channel i've got content coming your way man and yes i'm signing out hope you guys have a lovely evening once again at least three points to manchester united carrick on the carrick at the wheel no i'm just joking man carrick is, is carrick and mckenna still need to go um i'm just hearing news now that valverde 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 is it valverde or yeah it's valverde uh former barcelona coach is gonna is coming might be he's in talks to come to manchester united as interim manager so you know at least i'm sort of happy because we out here what if the the thing that i'm scared of is that if carrick goes on a 10 game winning streak if carrick goes on a 10 week these fans will be calling for him to get the job and we, we can't be doing that. Like, we can't be making, obviously, the same mistake. And, yeah, man, let's just enjoy the result. I, I know Chelsea's coming, but it is what it is. Yeah, man, and otherwise, I'm out. Y'all enjoy your evening. I'm dashing out. I'm going to be watching the rest of the Champions League features. And, yeah, it's Chelsea versus Juventus, so I'm checking that out. Peace, guys.